Oh, shit. Alright. Oh my god, this has been a fucking minute. Uh, let's check the phone. I'm sorry, it's been months. Ugh. I don't like how, like, the newer ones show up at the bottom. That bothers me. Alright. Uh, you, hey, bro. Uh, good match up there tonight. Week. Yeah, let's have dinner. Okay, let's have Candace. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title back where it belongs. Damn. All right, you gotta touch the tray now. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? A child. Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's... Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has borrowed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. Alright boys, let's go! This no disqualification oh, it was a touch match head. came about when Velveteen Dream felt oh, Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Come Dusty on. Rhodes Tag Classic. In a unique situation, there are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also oh, one of the most fuck. I'm just not performing today. sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. Oh. Super kick! Ouch. Witness the Jesus experience, Christ. fellas. Nothing is gonna stop him now. Oh, what a counter. Nice. Boom. Boom. There we go. Got something. At least. Well measured. All right, now let's go. I'm not loving the outfit. You know, if I would have dressed up as a child, he would have been scared that he'd catch a case. Yikes. Allegedly. Can't get sued. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, oh. Very nice. Oh, guys, there's that. Right, right, right. Why do I always record on the day of an MN United game? Because there's one in like an hour. You know, for <laughs> At least I'm not recording during it this time. I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Oh, come on. Oh. What is this? I've never Harsh seen that impact. before. Now back to oh, I see the tough enough part. I got you. I got you. I see that now. I see it. Point about Come on. Disdain for the locker room. Oh, it snowed it's here no the other day. Like, not that much. To test the most. But it's going to snow again on Tuesday, and I'm not really excited about it. Um, it's gotten really cold. And, you know, with me being in college, it's just not you know, the look I'm going for right now. Come on. There we go. 
Gotta give him the yellow. Boom. He's yellow, he's yellow. Corner grapple, okay. Can I reverse it? In the corner. Was coming. Damn it. Wow, what a sequence. They can just punch him in the chest. That is a great reverse. No. Oh my god. Oh the backbreaker. Right to the spine. I had him. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. He's getting beaten up out there, but still. Come on. And right between the shoulders. Come on. Oh, I've been back to what I was saying. When it's cold, I just don't want to do anything. I have a lot of homework to do. I don't want to go outside and get food. That's how you wear down your opponent. Not fun. Come on. All right, let's reverse it. Boom. He might have been waiting on that one. Toss to the outside. I'll take it. Let me recover a little bit. Get my stamina back up. Taunt a little bit. All right, no, stop taunting. Stop taunting. Incredible right, in this match so far. Come on. Get in, pussy. You know, Come these on. guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Kick! Oh. Here we go. Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh, no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dust Tag Team Classic Final. You guys, keep in mind, this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring oh, Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Oh, no. Wait a minute, what's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. No, I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Oh, what impact. All right, let's He's end this. Trouble. Bitches. Oh, it's coming. On oh, the steel chair. If that's not it, I don't know what is. Velvet's just getting overwhelmed. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. This is what he feeds off of. There we go. Boom. Oh! No, I have to do a first staying strike. Oh, shit. And now that one's counted. Ah! Oh, I said, should I get out of the ring? Should I not? That didn't go well. He weaves out of the way. Boom. Nope. All right, can I roll out? Can I roll out? Nope. Nope. Yes. Not fully though. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Oh! The hardest part of the ring. Miss, she's kinda good. Back now inside the ring. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna cut on you. I'm gonna get, you know, relax. Chillax. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. Nope. Oh, that's fine. Come on, get up. 
And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you said <laughs> this match is no disqualification, <laughs> so that was perfectly legal. Go to the top. End it. Oh, nasty impact. No, come on. Oh, come on. You can do it, but I know it's not doing it good. Eludes the attack. All right, I'm gonna get in the ring. A little bit of health left. Come on, bud, get in the ring. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Nope. Fuck. Super kick. Ouch. Dangerous. Oh, oh no, not again. Not again. No, no. Suplex. Ah! Come on. Come on. Damage your back. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, man. No, stop. Got uh -oh. the up. Oh, oh, my goodness. All right, that's not what I like to see. All right, I need to reverse something here real quick. There we go. Boom. And you can see that Dream is looking overwhelmed. You'll think twice before entering another Extreme Rules match. It's almost bedtime for Velveteen Dream. He's going to need to get back in this. I can't hit it from that far. I forgot how to drag. Oh, foot just stomping down. He's playing with him now. All right, let's hit one of our own, see if we can go Set up top then. second time. Standing Spanish fly. Kidding me. Incredible. How do you? Wow. Damn it. He has a right word. No. Fuck. He's going back to the well. Oh, is that it? Can he take advantage of this? Each one keeps getting more devastating. From the middle rope. Nope. Thank God a glitch. Net breaker. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Uh, it's now it's going to be about 20 minutes of me trying to figure out how to end this match. Dream just barely got out of the way. Gotta get that finisher. What a punch! And he's heading back in. Boom. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh, very nice. I just got well turned. How do you get up there? No, how do you? Okay, let's just punch him. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Why can't I get on top of the ring? Going up top. Look out. Here we go. Damn it. Big whistle. What do you look at this? Damn it. it. Looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Dream just 
damn it. Oh, got out of the way. Lightning fast reflexes. All right, let's hit that signature, and then we'll try to hit the finisher. Wish me luck. And scissors take it. Oh, very nice. Now her DDT. That wasn't the signature. No. Great evasion. Net breaker. That could be it. Half kick right on point. Going high risk again. From the top, elbow drop. Just sending a message there. Oh, what a DDT! Wow. Oh man. From behind. Well scouted with no. Get up, get up, get up. There we go. Come on. Oh my god, how the hell do I end this? A lot of people are gonna be like, why aren't you ending this? I don't know how. Favor. This could be his moment. He's calling for it. The target's been acquired once more. Back to the torso here. He eliminated the core. This is a great move. Dream just barely got out of the way. Really, that core is just broken ribs, everything. I think that was going to happen. DDT! All right, one more kick, signature. Saw that one coming. And scissors Ooh, take that. Oh, very nice. Here we go. Come on, get up, get up, get up! Here it comes. No! no. Fuck. Fuck. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. That's lights out. You can count to a hundred. Velotine Dream's just getting overwhelmed. Dream just barely got out of the way. He's going for it all. So that's how you do it. Look at this. Oh. Big height, bigger impact. Now I know. The attack on the how to get up there. And why not? It's been effective up to this point. How impressive was that reversal? Boom, doing the same moves over and over again. That's just my style. Come on. Come on. Boom. We're almost there. Stop tying. He 
Omega out of the way. Head scissors. Head scissors. Ooh. Again. Very nice. All right, come on, get up, get up, get that stamina back. Dangerous with his offense thus far. This is what he feeds off of. This is going to be big, one way or the other. Here we go. Dream just oh. got out of the way. Look at the agility. He's stalking his opponent from the top. Oh, look out. Big miss for him oh. there. Okay. Into the ring apron. Bringing it back between the ropes. Get up, get up. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Oh, nasty fall. Get in the ring. Come on, bud. He has something big planned. Oh, man, that hurt. Keep your eyes on this one. Look out. Dream just got out of the way. Just a step quicker. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. So fast. I figured it out. Looking for the finish. Trying to go. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. I figured it out. He's going for it all. Is he going to work? Nope. Okay. Look at this. Continuing to punish the core here. This has clearly been part of the game plan all along. Dream just bam. Okay. Fuck. He's fading, guys. I got that. Corner is the only thing keeping him upright. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Yet another. Oh, no, 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 no. no. So one step ahead of each other. Come on, stop. Saw that one coming. Ah, the. No. Get out, get out of the ring. Here we go. Valor. He's looking to bring this one to the outside where things can get ugly in an instant. Bringing it back into the ring. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Oh no, did I activate it? Oh, right, get up. Get up, get up. Oh, wow. 
dream just making it rain. Leave the nightlight on for him. It's over. Get up. Look out here. He's got something cooking. Flying. Purple Rainmaker. It's over. Nobody hits that one better. Off the ropes. I can't reverse anything. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Boom. And the Luther's press. Piston like rights. I switched something off and I'm not a fan. I don't know why I did. You just barely got it. No, I didn't. Oh, I don't leave a mark. Fuck yeah, boys. Bomb. Fuck yeah. All the way to the top. He's trying again. We did it! I did it! Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast. Finally. For the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Team's dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless, a huge win for Trey tonight. Let's go.